she was Britain's wonder of the world, Titanic, the 46,000 ton liner that couldn't sink. And she set out proudly on her maiden voyage to America. Two days later, she hit an iceberg and went down with the loss of 1,500 lives. The impossible had happened, and there were no lifeboats for nearly half the people aboard. Now, 46 years later, new light is thrown on the disaster in a film which had a glittering premiere in London. Mr. Selwyn Lloyd, the Foreign Secretary, was among the distinguished guests. Mr. John Davis, Managing Director of the Rank Organization, arrived with Mrs. Davis. And strange coincidence, an iceberg had been reported in the shipping lanes again just a few hours earlier. Here's star of the film, Kenneth Moore. He plays second officer Lighter. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, Peter. Congratulations right. on your new job. Oh, thanks very much. I'm really about it today. Congratulations to you on your film. Thank you. Enjoy making it? Very much indeed. And isn't it a funny thing today in the paper, iceberg in the channel, and they said this could never happen again. Well, it did, didn't it? Well, there you are. Fate. And Mrs. Lightoller, the second officer's widow, meets the star. Ten survivors of the disaster were there to relive a night they'll always remember. Among them, Mr. and Mrs. Daniels, Mrs. Dutton. And Mr. Beasley, after he'd seen the film. I thought he was most extraordinary. I had no idea that um, the realism could be produced in such a wonderful fashion. Mr. Alfred Pugh was one of Titanic's stewards. In those days, we did not have the facilities that we have today, such as ice patrols, radar, radio, and things like that, which would help him straight away in the event of a disaster. <laughs>